What's good, YouTube? Hey, man, we back at it again with another reaction video, man. Hey, this one, scientists amazed to find proof that a giant civilian actually existed. Now, when you ask me this question, I'm going to tell you straight up. I don't know because I wasn't there. That's me. So let me ask you this. Do you believe giants existed a long time ago? Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And enough said, and I talk against to it. We've got some giant stuff for you. We've got giant people, giant civilizations. Just big. We're going big today. Starting off our list today with evidence of a giant civilization in the most literal sense of the phrase. Because in November of 2012, archaeologists managed to piece together the first complete ancient skeleton of a person with gigantism, which from head to toe measured in at a height of six feet and eight inches. The skeleton discovered near Rome dates back to the third century AD, making it a giant for its time where the average Average man measured in at just about five and a half feet. In fact, coming in at almost seven feet, the gigantic right. skeleton discovered near ancient Rome was only seven inches shorter than the tallest man at the time of its discovery, and it is 15 inches shorter than Robert Waldo, who currently holds the world record. The discovery of the skeleton is a rare and miraculous find, seeing as even in our own day and age, cases of gigantism are few and far between. Next on the list, we have more archaeological giants. This time, multiple ginormous human remains were discovered in Nevada's Lovelock Cave. For hundreds of years, there were tales told by the native Paiute people of giant pale-skinned invaders known as the Sitaka. But when actual bones started being discovered, what these the stories world? started being looked at in a whole new light. According to local legends, these giants were fierce red-headed warriors who arrived in the area thousands of years before, attacking the local tribes. Eventually, the tribes all banded together. They chased the giants into a cave and killed them all. The first recorded discovery related to the legend mm. happened in 1911. Two miners stumbled on what looked like massive skeletons in Lovelock Cave. Some of these skeletons were reported to be between seven and eight feet tall. And then further excavations in 1912 and 1924 unearthed thousands of ancient artifacts from the cave, including a massive sandal measuring 15 inches long. Another crazy find was a large handprint embedded in the rock about twice the size of an average human hand. In 1931, an article in the Nevada Review Minor reported the discovery of two mummified skeletons in a dry lake bed near Lovelock. Skeletons that were said to measure eight and a half to 10 feet tall That's with crazy. red hair. Next up, we have the ancient Sumerian civilization, the world's first known civilization, which has had a gigantic impact on civilizations as a whole and which continues to influence us to this day. The Sumerian civilizations lived between 4,500 BC to 1,900 BC in ancient Sumar, an area in Mesopotamia. Humans began settling in the areas around 10,000 BC, but they were not classified as civilizations until about 4,500 BC. BC when they began the cultivating crops at a rate which allowed them to begin forging the world's first cities. Cities such as Eridu, Uruk, and Ur were created by the Sumerian civilizations and were built with tall temples and palace complexes, which suggest a clear understanding and following of hierarchy and worship in ancient times. There is also evidence of tracking systems being used in the cities. Clay tablets were scratched with a writing system called cuneiform to track the movement of grain throughout their territories, as well as to share stories and myths, some about giants. The Sumerian civilization also pioneered mathematics, astronomy, and astrology, invented irrigation systems, started the first schools, made the first laws, and created our current conception of time by dividing days into hours, hours into minutes, and minutes into seconds. Pretty neat stuff. Next up, we have the discovery of giants in China. So in 2016, archaeologists started excavating an ancient settlement in a village in China's Hey. Shangdong province. They discovered the ruins of 104 houses, 205 graves, and 20 sacrificial pits. 
but one of the most bizarre discoveries was a number of unusually large male skeletons. The bones dated back about 5,000 years and were 5 foot 9 or taller. My god! Which, you know, obviously that's, that's nothing right. to write home about by today's standards, but for the Neolithic period, that's massive. One of these men measured around 6 foot 2, and according to Feng Hui, the head of Shangdong University's School of History mm. and Culture, the that's man was likely tall, even taller when he was actually alive. Mm. Researchers believe that these tall men were probably of high status. Maybe they had better nutrition and living conditions compared to the general population, which is why they grew so tall. The large tombs where they were buried also point to them having been wealthy or important in some way. Next up, we have a gigantic ancient city discovered in the Amazon that remained hidden by the lush vegetation of the forest for thousands of years until early 2024, that's this year, when archaeologists were overjoyed to stumble upon the ancient city located beneath the jungles of the Amazon. The discovery validated over 20 years spent searching for the remains of ancient civilizations within the jungle. The ruins were located using light detecting and ranging technology to scan beneath the brush of the forest, which revealed over 6,000 rectangular structures made up of compressed earth, as well as ancient drainage systems and sophisticated road networks connecting at least 15 different distinct settlements within the valley. The ruins are estimated to be around 2,500 years old and are said to have been home to tens if not hundreds of thousands of people from the Kilimope and Upano cultures. While there is not much else we know about this discovery, as it is so incredibly recent, scientists are eager to continue their research in this area. Catalina Island off the coast of California has a lot of history with large skeletons. In the early 20th century, Ralph Glidden, an amateur archaeologist, conducted digs between 1919 and 1928, and he claimed to have unearthed all these skeletons, some that were reportedly up to 9 feet tall. The discoveries were made in burial sites of the indigenous people who once lived on the island. Glidden's finds included bones, artifacts, and tools, but it was the size of the skeletons that grabbed the most attention. He documented his excavations and even created a small museum to display some of the bones and the artifacts that he found. People were pretty amazed, but there were also a lot of skeptics. Many experts were very critical of his findings. Over time, a lot of Glidden's work was dismissed as either exaggerated as a money-making scheme or that he was just misinterpreting everything. But islands can be pretty strange places. Animals have been known to grow on islands in strange sizes, either abnormally large or abnormally undersized, that is so true. who knows. Alright, for this next one I thought I would have a bit of fun with you guys because I truly would like to get your input on the Solarian Hypothesis, a real hypothesis posed by real scientists who named the theory after Doctor Who aliens. But I mean, who can blame them? While there is no actual proof for this theory, I did want to include it in the video because it is just so incredibly interesting. The Silurian Hypothesis states that human beings might not have been the first large civilization of intelligent life forms to have evolved on Earth, but instead, millions of years ago, another advanced, almost alien-like civilization existed. Well, you might be thinking, well, that's dumb. If an ancient civilization existed one million years ago with such a wide reach, surely there would have been some kind of evidence, right? I mean, dinosaurs existed over one million years ago, and there is an abundance of evidence supporting their existence. Well, here's the thing. Dinosaurs were around for more than 150 million years. We, on the other hand, took an incredibly short amount of time to spread ourselves out across the globe. Only about 100,000 years. If this ancient civilization is anything like us, while their reach might have been ginormous, they okay. might have had the same rapid expansion that we did, and therefore it is not hard to believe that by now, any fingerprint they once left on this planet would have long since vanished. But like I said, I want to know what you think. Are we on board with this theory, or are you bored with this point? Let me know. I think down below. Right. Next up, we have a whole species of giants, towering, hairy creatures that would have sounded like a complete legend before the scientific world actually discovered their existence. Gigantopithecus. Gigantopithecus is known for being one of the largest apes to ever roam the Earth, with some estimates of it standing up to 10 feet tall 
and weighing over a thousand pounds. Fossils have been found throughout Asia, particularly in places like China and Vietnam. The fossils are mostly teeth and jaw bones, which are incredibly large compared to any living ape species that we have today. A lot about Gigantopithecus is a bit of a mystery because most of the fossils discovered are teeth and jaw fragments. Researchers have to rely on that to piece together its appearance and behavior. There's even ongoing debate about whether Gigantopithecus walked upright like humans or moved around on all fours like modern gorillas. All I know is that coming face to face with one of these things would have been horrifying. And they did yeah, live at the same time as human beings too, so that's freaky. Next up we have the world's largest and most gigantic ancient empire, the Achaemenid Empire, also known as the Persian Empire, which was ruled from the Achaemenid throne in what is now modern day Iran, and which in 480 BC ruled over an estimated 44% of the world's population, which at the time was comprised roughly of 112.4 million people. While the empire might not have had the most land, or technically ruled over the most number of people, percentage wise it definitely takes the ancient cake, surpassing both the ancient Mongol Empire and the modern day British Empire. Now not only was this empire large, it also had a huge impact, I mean obviously it ruled over 44% of the world's population. The Parisian Empire is widely recognized for creating a centralized model of bureaucratic administration, multicultural policies and infrastructure such as road systems and organized postal system. So the next time you are angry at the post office, blame them I guess. And to finish things off, we have the island so with the massive right size stone statues, Easter Island. If you didn't know any better, you'd probably think giants must have inhabited this island at one point. Rapa Nui is a small remote island in the southeastern Pacific Ocean. It's famous for its colossal stone statues called Moai, which have puzzled historians and archaeologists for centuries. The island is just 63 square miles in size, but it's home to nearly 900 of these statues, some of which weigh as much as 80 tons and stand over 30 feet tall. They were crafted Damn. by the Rapa Nui people between 1100 and 1500 AD using volcanic rock from the island's quarries. It was always a mystery as to how the people moved these massive statues. It looked like they were either pulled with ropes over logs or pulled back and forth using ropes, which kind of made the statues waddle across the ground, which is pretty cool. It's an amazing That's feat, cool. really. Well, there you go. I'm, I'm, I'm pleased to know that, uh, you know, back in uh, the Neolithic period, uh, well, I still wouldn't have been uh, all that tall. You would have been tall enough. Average height person. But that was, that was very interesting, you know. Man. Some of that stuff could be real, some of that stuff could be fake. But all that we could do, you know what I'm saying, do our own research and check it out to see if it was real or it's fake. So with that being said, man, this video over with. And I'll catch you on the next one, man. Peace.